So, it's really, I heard the rumors that uh, you can already import characters and make a proxy in the new system, which is called the static overrides. So we're going to try with a character from uh, the daily drifts. The chicken. Because it's reasonably simple. Yeah. Still. Yeah. It's, so it's not a blend rate character, but it still has. Yeah. Oh. So how is the... So I just linked the, the chicken. And I'm going to make a static override out of the... So I linked the whole group. Making a static override of the Which is like the old proxy. Kind of, yes, because... Same system. We could avoid that selection, but it enables optimization for big characters. So now we keep it. So now we have... Character. A character. You can see the properties here. I'm switching to pose mode. And I'm modifying a bone, for example. It's slow because it's a debug build too and everything. And you can see here yeah, you get the, the color of the overridden properties. Ah, so that one has been moved, now if I rotate it. It will apply an override to only this property. As long as I apply the as soon as I apply the transform the overriding. Wow, and eventually this will work for any property, like if material overrides... Uh, Not any properties, but a lot more, yeah. yeah. Right now I'm adding them case by case basis on Slowly. the utility basis. But so the most basic uh, yeah. is just to get the old level of uh, <laughs> proxy that we had. We, and, uh, we can already add, for example, another chicken. Oh! So again as a group. Yes. Override it. So that's not final workflow, of course. At some point, you want to just be able to duplicate the group and keep and the yeah, operating and system, but that is not implemented yet. And you can. Uh, wow. So, okay. This is this is amazing. This is something that you couldn't do in 2.7 is yeah. to have two linked characters, exactly. the same character linked twice yeah. with a different action. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, Theory, you can save it. <laughs> Theory, you can save it. And reload it. And you keep the same, uh, the same transform and everything. Amazing. The status for now. Wow. And this is all thanks to static overrides, but also dependency graph. Uh, well, it's a mix of I everything. Mean, it's static overrides and it's making basically objects locals. Yeah. While keeping a reference to the linked data. So, yeah, but we have to fight uh, different issues between uh, static override itself and uh, depth graph. The, the depth graph. Awesome. Wow. This is major, major news. Like being able to link two characters yeah. override, but also it opens a world of possibilities. Yeah, being able at to. At some point, you can change uh, the, the materials, you can edit the materials, so you can change uh, the settings of a node, for example, and so on. How how deep does it go? You can change the whole material, or you can also go specific settings in yeah, one material. Probably at some point, um, in the, in materials are not implemented yet, but we should be able to easily switch completely the material in the material slot. Yeah. So uh, assign another material data block. Yeah. Or just go inside of the material and edit node properties. And, uh, and the rest is all linked yeah. except that one property. That's and awesome. And we can also work on. I don't know if we have constraint of those bone, bones. Uh, but in theory, you should be yeah, able. Actually, I don't think it will be working because it was crashing recently in property. Oh, that will be a good way to close to to end the video with yeah, a crash. Video, yeah, that will be. So do we have constraint <laughs> on bones? Yeah. There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> Work in progress. And we also have basic support of adding new constraint or new modifiers in the. As an over over Amazing. Thank you very much. Very excited about this. Production ready. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>